But first and foremost, Chelsea through to another cup final, beating Crystal Palace 2-0. First half, you'd have to say, was relatively even. But in second half, Chelsea showed their dominance, their quality. Won the game 2-0. Um, how would you assess the game, Daz, and, and Crystal Palace's performance? You know what? A, a little bit disappointing, of course, actually, yeah. because I don't feel they really gave Chelsea many problems. I think, I, I must say, Conor Gallagher was a big miss. A big miss. And yeah. look, I, I had this chat. I was there. I was working at um, Wembley before the game. Double shift? Not double. Like Just working at Wembley before <laughs> the game. And uh, I did say, we, we got to flip it on its head, though, because if it was Crystal Palace, if it was Wilf Zaha, if it was... Um, um, Elise, Eze, and he was, they were on loan somewhere else. You wouldn't want them to play. So, in a way, it's a compliment on Conor Gallagher that Chelsea didn't want him, him to play, but he was a, a big miss. And they didn't really give Chelsea much problems. And whether that was the game plan, I don't know. Remember, remember they played Manchester City. That was the kind of the game plan to, to kind of get bring the pressure, not concede, and then hit them on the counter. But it just didn't didn't work unfortunately and it's been a fantastic cup run um, with obviously the uh, the annihilation of Everton in the last round it's been great for Crystal Palace Patrick Vieira semi-final in his first management um, uh, job in, in England in the Premier League uh, you can't ask for much more and now that they can concentrate on the last how many games they've got seven games left in the Premier League yeah, I think Conor Gallagher was a big miss. And listen, Crystal Palace fans and Chelsea fans, pick up the phone, give us a call, 03717 What did you make of the game? Uh, Crystal Palace, were you, do you agree with what Darren Ambrose had to say? Do you not really give it your, your all? Well, not give it your all, but a little bit disappointing in your team's results. And Chelsea, another cup final under Thomas Tuchel. Playing Liverpool, obviously playing them again after the League Cup final, where I thought Chelsea were the better side. Ultimately went to penalties, mm. Liverpool won. So I guess Liverpool fans and Chelsea fans, who do you make favourites for that that uh, FA Cup final oh three seven one seven double two double three double four. You said about Conor Gallagher, and I heard the guys talking about it before the game. Um, I can understand from Chelsea's perspective, yeah, because he has been Crystal Palace's best player. Yep. You don't want it to come back and bite you, as, as you put it. Do you think that's a rule that maybe that this country needs to look at, maybe potentially it changing? I, I think so. Yeah, it, it's so difficult because, as you said, as a, a club, if it was Arsenal, for instance, if it was Spurs, and they had their best player out on loan, not their best player, but a player that's been fantastic for the opposition club, you would. And it's the rules. Unfortunately, that's what has been put into place. They can't play against their parent club. It's gutting for Connor himself because he's done so well, as you said. He's been a catalyst for Crystal Palace getting to the semi final. And who knows? Look, he'll back himself to get to Wembley again, of course, in his career. But who knows? It may be the only opportunity he has. I'm sure it won't be. So it's 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 hard for him to take. And we've we've heard the story come out that they see Tuchel and, and Connor see themselves in, in a, a restaurant. each other in a restaurant. And they yeah. apologise. What a restaurant this was. Yeah, it would have been, it'd been an expensive one. But yeah, I, I put out um, that we're doing the, talk, the, 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 the phone-in after the game. So, but I'm not sure how many people that was in Wembley Box Park will be, will be able to phone in, to I, be I, honest. You know, I've, been, I've been at Box Park before when it was the Euros in England and the atmosphere, certainly before kickoff, was, is insane. And when you put up the video, of course, the audio that we played in, yeah. the, in the intro, um, Par Palace fans seemed in good spirits. Like They were up for it. They are in good form, playing well. New exciting manager, really exciting season. And as you said, that it maybe just didn't quite live up to expectation, would you say? Yeah, I 100% agree with that. I think w what it was, and I did say this before the game, that this match defines Chelsea's season. Now, I say that because Crystal Palace was never expected to get to a semi-final. They're not expecting to have done so well in the league and who knows where they can go in the league. Can they finish top 10? They're still in the run-ins for that, but... Today defined Chelsea's season. They had to win. They had to get to a final to have any chance of, of winning a trophy this season. Otherwise, that would have been done for them. So, fair play to Chelsea. They, they played the game well. They, what, they didn't have to be fantastic and they still got the result. And it's it's going to be a great game, the final. But I, I was also covering the Manchester City-Liverpool game. And, I mean, the first half was an annihilation by Liverpool mm -hmm. on Manchester City. And Chelsea have to be massively on form and on their game to beat Liverpool. Who do you think wins that final? Liverpool. You think they beat Chelsea? I, I do, yeah. On on the showing today and on the showing that Liverpool played Chelsea yesterday, uh, Manchester City yesterday, I would say Liverpool are on better form. They're looking a lot better. You know, Tuchel's the like forward I mean, play. But I, as you rightly say, Tuchel, Tuchel in, in a one-off game and Chelsea, not just Tuchel, Chelsea as well. And then in those one-off finals, that they seem to find ways of winning. So it'll be a great game. I think it'll be a very tactical game. 
Tuchel will be trying to, similar to Palace tried on Chelsea today, I think it will be Tuchel and Chelsea trying that on Liverpool. But it's going to be a great game. I'm looking forward to it. But I, I can't see Liverpool losing it. To be fair, Tuchel's, I think he's, he's already said earlier that he's on a kind of revenge, a revenge tour because of getting beat in the first game. When you look at certain aspects that went against Chelsea that day, I mean, they missed several chances. The whole goalkeeping situation, remember the whole penalties, I'm yeah. going to swap him in. I can't see that happening again. <laughs> that happening again. Can you? I mean, it'll be a brave move if that happened again. We was here, weren't we? And we were saying that if, if he came on, he's going to miss the penalty and it, it, it got that way. But just the way Liverpool played yesterday, they look in scintillating form. And I don't say that often about any team. They were fantastic. When I was covering it, I was in awe of the game. It was brilliant. So Chelsea have to play well. They have to be on complete form to beat Liverpool. Chelsea fans, I'm, I'm quite in- interested to hear what you guys, what you you think the job Thomas Tuchel's done, and, what, and how would you assess your season? Because at one stage, a lot of people maybe thought that you you were the front runners to win the Premier League this season. After winning the Champions League next season, you've you've not got progressed in the Champions League. Played well against Rome, but you didn't progress. You kind of looks like you're going to come third in the Premier League. You've got to the League Cup final, but lost in another FA Cup semi final. I wonder how you'd sum it up 03717 I've got a message from my mate John he's a big Palace fan mm. he said about the team selection today he said that Elisa should have started what do you think? Yeah, look, if Elise was was fit enough to be on the bench, absolutely. He he's been fantastic again. One of the catalysts that he that that he brought to the team is why they were in the semi final as well. I said it about Connor. He was a he's a great talent, and he showed it when he came on as well. Look, I, I I like Joel Ward as well. We've had him on the boot room. He's a great guy. I do think Kleine should have played though. Um, uh, right back. I think he gives you that little bit of extra pace. And maybe are you? Maybe are you? He works hard for the team, but you can question this hindsight. Patrick Vieira has done a great job, so I don't think there'll be many people complaining about too many positions. Maybe just Elise, but he has come back. What I do want to say though, and I want to call it out, is the dive by Kai, ha- Kai Havertz. I thought yeah, you was, was quite angry about that, weren't you? I just thought it was. I thought maybe it, it was contact. It, it, it was shocking. <clears throat> it was shocking, and I know the, the commentary said that potentially that they thought there was there was a touch, but. It's about a foot, foot and a half away from from Gurhi. And, you know, to top it off, he was the guy that, that, that set up the, the first goal. I'm not saying that he shouldn't be on the pitch, but I just thought it was it was cheating. Our very own Jamie O'Hara on Sky said that he felt Kai Havertz should have been sent off for it. What do you think? No, no, but I think there should be. And it's, it's strange, but Simon Jordan said, I think it was Simon was saying about an orange card when things like that happen, That's they go down to Simbin for yeah. like five, ten minutes because you have to be punished. You know, it's not a sending off offence, but it's more than a yellow card offence, in my opinion, because it was blatant cheating. But like I said, credit to Chelsea. They they were the better team. Um, they were favourites going into the game. They're in the FA Cup final. It's going to be tough. But you said one-off games, they normally produce. All right, well, listen, hopefully we'll get the, the Crystal Palace boss on Patrick Vieira chatting to our very own Alex Crook uh, as we speak. So hopefully we'll bring you that very, very soon. And as I said, Chelsea fans, Crystal Palace fans, talk to me about the game today and Chelsea moving forward into the League Cup final. Can you beat Liverpool? 03717 Let's go and speak to Pat. They're a Chelsea fan. Pat, um, talk to me. Congratulations on the, the, the game today. What did you think? Well, thanks very much. Well, two things I want to get out of the way first. Number one, Cole Abbott's doing that dive in the box. That is not... That would never have happened years ago with proper Chelsea players. That was disgusting. Well said. Me and my missus sat and watched it on the telly. And if we'd have got beat, I'd have said, serve your right for doing what you've just done. That, that was, that's cheating. Well said. That is, that is bad. Number two, manager of the year, I think, should go to Tuchel. I'll tell you what the reasons why. What he's been through in the last few months... He could have walked away with me and gone, oh, I can't be dealing with all this. He stood by us. We, we got to the quarterfinals of the uh, Champions League and it, we, we should have won it the other night. We were unlucky. But what he's put up with over the last couple of months, I think he should be manager of the year, just on that. When it comes to the Chelsea-Liverpool final, at the end of the day, let's put, be fair, Darren, Chelsea experience showed out there today. Mm. They were they were play, playing ten men behind the ball, opening the witness on the break. It didn't work. Chelsea nullified that from the first half. Second half, class class shone, shone through. But it was a great semi final. Bad luck, 
to uh, Crystal Palace. I do think we can beat them in the final. As Darren Ambrose said, it's a one-off game. You've got the fancy Liverpool. Of course you have. You must. But at the end of the day, it's a one-off game. And if anybody's going to upset, upset that, it will be Chelsea. Pat, with the result uh, against Real Madrid, which I thought was a fantastic performance, and sometimes that can really take it out of you mentally if you don't go through after a performance like that, does that just show the character of the team this season, as well as Thomas Tuchel, to, to come through that and now make an FA Cup, sem- uh, an FA Cup final? You just said it all, my son. Absolutely, you just said everything correct. That's absolutely right. They've gone there today. Don't forget, a hundred and odd minutes they played. And that, that would have took them out mentally and uh, strength-wise. Mm. But they come through it, and he, he's got the job done. Let, don't forget, Darren, when, when this final's being played, let's get, this, let's get this into context. Liverpool will then be going to play pro- probably a final in the Champions League. Then we're at the end of the season... They might be looking to be going to win the league. I, I don't think they will, but they could be. So it might fall into Chelsea's hands. I'm not listen. I'm not looking for excuses for that to happen, because as I said earlier at the beginning of the call, I think Chelsea can beat them. But look at them things as well. There's more in this than you know. Chelsea have got a hell of a chance now. Going to get a cup, end the season well. They're going to get fourth. The Arsenal and Tottenham and really City seem, don't want the team to get fourth spot. I don't know what the reason there is, but we're going to get third spot and we're going to get hopefully get a cup and it ain't going to be disastrous. Yeah, I hear that. Well, I hear that. I hear that, Pat. And listen, he, again, he speaks about Liverpool. The, when that FA Cup comes along, they've got, obviously, they're thinking they're going to have the Champions League mm. next FA Cup. They're going to be fighting for the league. I mean, Villarreal is no pushover, by the way. Let's let's put that out there as well. Just interesting for Liverpool fans, right? And I don't think this could happen. I don't think it's going to happen, but this could happen. They might only get left with the League Cup. Say Chelsea beat them in FA Cup, they don't win the league and they don't win the Champions League. Is that a failure or is that a good season well, still? I, I was listening to Jamie Carragher. I think it was Jamie Carragher on Sky Sports said that the quality of this squad... They need to win more trophies. It's all well and good getting to finals and semi finals. They need to win so more. Stop stockpiling them trophies. Exactly. And is the League Cup enough for this squad? Yeah. I'm not too sure.